channel my name is Angel so in today's video we are going to be doing a first impressions and review on the new L'Oreal infallible fresh wear 24 hour foundation but before we jump into it if this is your first time tuning into my channel don't forget to go ahead and smash that subscribe button and let's jump into it so before we jump into the actual video and the review on this foundation I just want to let you guys know that I was originally not going to film a review or even purchase this foundation um I had a change of mind I don't know and I'm having a really really good feeling about it I try not to watch like too many people videos on YouTube and reviews about the foundation so I can really you know not be biased and really see how I like it for myself so I guess I'm eating my words because I know I said that in my last video Video. I was not really feeling trying new products as far as face products because I was having um, some bad breakouts and stuff with my skin but um anyways we here we about to get into it for some reason I feel really bubbly in this video like I feel really happy I'm excited to sit down and film for you guys I have not sat down and filmed a video in a minute I know it's only been a week but to me a week too long like I am so happy right now my ring light actually went out um, so I did not upload last week um, but my ring light is here and it came earlier this week let me know in the comments how you guys like it I'm still playing around with lighting here on my channel so just let me know what you guys think and I got a new backdrop y'all I am just showing out honey I am just showing out new hair Ooh, I'm showing out so enough of me rambling I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this review so this is the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation so this is pretty much what the bottle looks like so I'm just gonna go ahead and read you guys some of the claims this foundation has of course so this foundation claims to be L'Oreal's most lightweight breathable long wearing foundation it also claims to last up to 24 hours you guys know I am not wearing foundation for 24 hours y'all already know it also claims to be transfer resistant uh, with water sweat heat and humidity it also claims to absorb those oils and it also claims to be a breathable finish foundation and as far as the coverage it claims to be a medium to full coverage foundation so okay L'Oreal we're gonna go ahead and put this to the test I actually have two different primers I'm not really sure which one I want to go with this was new to me and this is old faithful let's switch it up and stop being so basic we're gonna go ahead and step outside the box and use the NYX Angel Veil primer so of course I know some of you guys are going to ask um, my shade is in 515 and 515 is copper so I'm in the shade copper I like the fact that this foundation does come with a pump it makes life so much easier but first impressions why am I pumping it like this this pump is kind of weird because it's like a flat pump so far it looks like I picked out a really good foundation shade Wow this smell like smells like I don't want to say laundry but <laughs> it literally smells like something clean something fresh hmm that's interesting I hope it's not too many perfumes in here that's gonna break me out and of course I normally like the most coverage around my mouth area now I'm not even gonna lie like she got some coverage to her like she really really got some coverage to her like this is like almost full coverage foundation you guys and I did not use a lot at all not that it's bothering me but I can still smell the smell of the foundation like normally sometimes when you blend it in it actually like pretty much goes away um, I noticed that with my Fenty Beauty foundation but I can still kind of smell the foundation or maybe it's the brush I don't know as far as the finish on this foundation I'm not really sure the claims of the finish of this foundation but um it's not dewy like really dewy like the born this way was for me but it's not matte like Fenty or Estee Lauder double wear either hmm it's kind of like in the middle it's definitely in the middle because I normally like a more matte finish foundation but not bad not bad so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face 
and see what I kind of notice with this foundation and see if anything crazy happens and I'll be back. So this is the finished look. You guys, I must say, I really think I like this foundation. And it's crazy because I never thought that I would even want to try this foundation or thought I would try this foundation. So shout out to one of my subscribers who commented down in my comment section of my last video and told me to try it that she really, really liked it. So honestly, you guys, I really did want to review the concealer along with this foundation. Um, however, I just was not a fan of the shade range for us brown girls. Um, the same subscriber who recommended this foundation to me, she told me that the concealer did not work out for her either. When it comes to a concealer, I like for my concealers to have a little bit more of a yellow undertone to them. I'm really, really picky when it comes to concealers because sometimes they're too cool undertone along with the translucent powder or banana powder. It just looks really cakey. It looks too light. It looks unnatural. Y'all, I'm just crazy about my concealers. Like... Don't be playing with me with these concealers, period. Now about the foundation. So I really do like the foundation, you guys. I absolutely love the color on this foundation. I feel like the color that I picked out was freaking amazing. L'Oreal. Y'all got the color right with the foundation. Like, what's going on with the concealer, you know? Like, I love that this foundation has the perfect amount of yellow undertone in it because I am yellow undertone. And it does have a little bit of red, but it's not, like, too red. I feel like it goes really, really well with my skin tone, you guys. Like, I did pretty, pretty good. As far as the shade range for the entire L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation, there are, I want to say, 30 shades. Um, so there are quite a bit of shades, and they do have some really deep, dark shades. And I salute them for that. It's 2019. It should just be happening at this point. Up close and personal, I really do like the coverage on this foundation. I would consider a full coverage because I believe if I would have gone in with the second layer, it would have got kind of crazy. Like, it would have got kind of crazy. I still feel like this is a more medium coverage. Um, it's kind of full coverage, like how I've applied it and how much I applied. Um, I wouldn't apply more than this because I don't like the whole cake face look. But um, everything looks good. I do want to let you guys know that I did go ahead and powder my face with my Black Radiant Soft Focus Powder. Favorite drugstore powder, hands down. Um, I feel like that really did help soak up some of that, um, I don't want to say dewiness because it's not a dewy foundation, but it kind of helped turn the natural finish to a more demi-matte finish, which is kind of what I like. Um, it's not clinging to anything on my face or seeping into any of my um, imperfections, like my pores or my smile lines or anything. It's looking really, really good. And as far as it working with other products, you guys, you guys can see that my bronzer went well with it. The blush did good. The highlighter did good. I can honestly say my face does feel not cakey. My skin feels breathable. As full coverage as this foundation is, you guys, it does not feel like I'm wearing, like, I'm like, like, it does not feel like I'm wearing any foundation on my face. Like, my face feels so lightweight so lightweight like this is crazy like it literally doesn't even make me feel like i'm wearing foundation so i think i'm really really gonna love this foundation during those summer months um as long as it does not get too oily i think i'm gonna really love it um it does not feel like i'm wearing makeup my skin like literally it feels like I'm bare face. Like, that's how good this foundation feels. So, I did want to mention that this foundation does have SPF in it. I forgot to mention it earlier, and I'm actually just now realizing that. So, like I said, during the summer months, I feel like this is going to be a really good foundation. So, just be aware of the SPF and where you have to go while wearing the foundation. As far as the price range, this foundation retails for, I believe, $14.99. I purchased mine from CVS, but you guys, I literally paid $2 for this foundation. CVS has the best coupons, rewards, and offers for uh, makeup. So I guess it just depends on where you buy it from. I guess it can range from about $10.99. I don't think I've seen it cheaper than $10 or $11.99 to about $14.99, maybe even $15.99. I'll just 
continue to test this foundation out and to try it see how I like it of course I'll keep you guys updated um if not in my description bar below I will keep you guys updated with my videos that are coming you guys already know if you don't see a product that I review here on my channel anymore or me talk about it rave about it done that means it's done it did not work out I did not like it so um yeah just in case you guys are wondering like hmm why does she use that anymore that's pretty much why I don't use it anymore didn't work out so if you guys like seeing me do first impressions and review videos go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and if you like the channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you won't miss any more of my uploads and you can become a part of the gang y'all already know the angel gang so yeah remember to be blessed and follow your dreams and i will see you guys in my next video